Seven months ago, a fight at Kennedy Park in Lewiston left Donald Juicy badly beaten. Days later, he died from his injuries. Everybody knows the story, but people also know things out there that we don't know. Seven months later, Donnie's father, uncle, and oldest daughter want answers. Sitting in the Salvation Army building, Hannah Thompson remembers volunteering with her dad here. She would like anyone involved in that June 12th incident to share what they know. I would ask them to come forward. Just before Christmas, a vigil was held on what would have been Donnie's 39th birthday. Instead of a night of reflection, Lewiston police say a dozen or so people were fighting on Knox Street just across from the police station. Donnie's uncle Jim Thompson says he has faith in the system and is thankful for the work being done by state police who are overseeing the investigation. But he says that he and his family want closure. People aren't coming forward that were there. For whatever reason, they have outstanding warrants for them or they just don't, they figure they're going to be a rat or whatever, you know. Somebody died here, all right? A life was taken. Following Donnie's death, Jim has become involved in the community safety program for Kennedy Park. He says he doesn't want any other family to go through such a loss and that no amount of information is too small. Make this right for Donnie. Make this right for Hannah. So again, if you have any information, you can reach out to also the local police as well as the state police who are overseeing this investigation. We reached out to them today to see if they had any kind of an update to share on this ongoing case, and they did not reply to our emails. Reporting in Lewiston, I'm Mary-Kate Mannion for WMTW News 8.